All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the EVA Handrails Continued mod, which was originally made way back in the day by forum user Krasimir. It has since been taken over by Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a series of different handrails that you can put around the exterior of your space stations or ships, and they allow your Kerbals to grab onto them to then crawl around the outside to wherever they need to get to, rather than having to use their jetpack, working in a very similar way, of course, to how ladders work in the game. And in fact, people have been using ladders to do this very same thing for years in the game, and though functional, they never really looked that great doing it, whereas these handrails really do add a very cool aesthetic to the outside of your stations, but they also, of course, add in authenticity, as if you ever look at some close-up shots of the International Space Station, you will find very similar handrails to these all over the darn thing, as it's always kind of a nice thing to have something to hold onto when you're on EVA. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a gander at what all this mod does add in. And we'll go a bit different today and grab the Mark II lander can, and since we have a fair few parts to plaster on this thing, let's also grab a Rocco Max container and zoom in a little bit and then of course finally head down to the utility tab where we will find all of these lovely different parts and i gotta mention here that i've actually been using this mod for years in fact i think the mod has been around for around about two years now maybe a little bit more and i could have sworn i made a video of this thing ages ago but apparently not so here we are finally having a look at it now that linux guru gamer has updated it to 1.2 of the game. So let's start off by looking at the curved handrails, which I think are my favorite parts. Now they come in three different sizes. We have the curved 1MR handrail right here, the 2MR right here, and then the 3MR right here. And as you can see, they're all curved and fit quite nicely on the exterior of this fuel tank. And the purpose of these things is to go all the way around the fuel tank or command pod or whatever part you have. Now, of course, the 1MR is designed to go all the way around the 1.25 sized parts. The 2MR is for the 2.5 meter parts and the 3MR for the uh, 3.75. I always forget what that size is. I think that's it. But yes, and all you need to do, say for instance, this is a 2.5 meter part, we grab a 2M and then just go go with whatever symmetry option makes it go all the way around without overlapping. And for this particular one, you can see it is that symmetry right there. And now that we have this going all the way around this tank, a Kerbal can grab onto any one of these and then crawl all the way around and that is wonderful i really love having that ability especially if i need to fix or pack something or if i'm using the uh, kerbal inventory and attachment system i can climb a kerbal onto one of these go around to a part of the ship and have him do whatever he needs to do now the rest of the parts in here are more for vertical up and down the tanks rather than around them and the first one of these is the handrail type one, which if we pop and actually go to just one symmetry, zoom a bit in here more, we have this lovely little handrail there. I actually really like the design of this one. It seems a bit more industrial with the nice little eyelets on either side that if you were in the real world, you'd probably hook onto some sort of safety line and then use this for leverage. A very good part. And then we have the 1A, which is just a larger version of it, which basically just looks like a stretched out version of it, but hey, it's good to go. So again, just whatever size you need for going up and down, eh, you know, you just grab whichever one of these works best. The next that we have is the handle type A, or type 1 rather. So we had the handrail type 1, now we have the handle type 1. And this one is a much smaller piece as you can see right here, and it is literally just a single small handle. And I actually have a lot of fun with this part because I don't often use it for a handle for the Kerbal to hold onto, but rather I like putting them around the ship at uh, different points. And so that uh, basically I can like cordon off an antenna, I'll make a little box with these things around one of them. 
Very useful, very cool, just to add in some little bits and bobs places. And of course, we also have a 1A, which is just a slightly larger version of it. Not much bigger, it's a much larger change compared from this handrail over here to this handle. But still, nonetheless useful, and I actually enjoy putting these, in fact, next to exactly where this one is. I like putting them next to doors so it can look like, you know, the Kerbal's going to grab onto that before getting in. Very cool. And the last two parts we have are the handrail type 2 which again there we go just a nice handrail piece there and then the 2a which is a larger stretched out version of it and just whichever one suits your purpose you go and use and that is uh, basically all the parts not a whole lot to go through but they have a huge number of uses for instance uh, let's actually just take a quick look at what i have made earlier i've already got one in orbit that we'll go and play around with momentarily but let's actually look at it here in the va base you can get a bit better of a look and i've put these handrails all over the place just to give you a quick idea of what you could potentially do with these so we've got them going around the exterior so a Kerbal can say grab onto that one move over here then switch over to this one going straight up and down to then crawl from there up etc now I actually kind of poorly designed this and uh, if you did it well you could climb from that point right there all the way down this line to this point. But I grabbed the wrong, I used different parts, like say this one, the handle, or the handrail type one, and then a handrail type two. Since they're different sizes, this one's a bit higher, they don't actually link together. <laughs> so uh, if you designed it better, you could go from one end of the ship to the other, even with these angles. Uh, but since I kind of poorly designed it just to show off all the parts, you can't. But you still can go all the way around the exterior of these things, crawl around the different bits and bobs. And as you can see here, I put some handles around the window so a Kerbal could grab on here and say hello to his friends in the habitat. But let's actually go and leave and... Uh, uh, head to the tracking station where I do have this in orbit and we can play around with Jeb trying to uh, <laughs> go around the handrails. Now again, I kind of poorly designed this thing. If you spend a bit more time and energy on yours, you should be able to actually do a much, much better job than me to make them uh, able to crawl anywhere they need to go. And as you can see, if we had done this with ladders, it would just look so weird. But with these handrails, they actually do fit in with the aesthetic of the game and make it a lot more interesting looking. And they add a bit more depth and uh, contrast actually to the stations, which I quite enjoy. So let's actually grab Jebediah out. Actually, are we about to go? Yes, we are about to go on the dark side of the planet. So hold on a moment. We're gonna cheat our <laughs> space station around a bit. Let's, uh go to the map here and da, 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 there we go so we actually have better light <laughs> ah you gotta love hyper edit and all the wonderful things it can do there we are lovely take a just a quick little beautiful look at our station here very nicely done i do enjoy how these handrails look they definitely do add a lot of character to any of your spaceships but let's actually get jebediah out on eva and if we crawl down here, I should be able to let go and then grab. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, darn. I thought I had it right so I could let go and then grab onto this uh, sideways one. Let's actually try down here a bit. Let go. And the... No, he just went he just went the other way around. Okay, he's in free fall. So yeah, we'll have to turn on the jetpack to actually get a hold of one of these darn things. <laughs> oh, is the problem with trying to demonstrate. It never goes how I plan. All right, so let's back him up a bit. And grab. There we go. Now we've grabbed onto one of these handrails, and we could go up and down one of these things quite nicely. Now, like I said, I poorly designed it, so I'm not able to actually continue going down here. But if we say, do go up to this one, grab. There we go. So I just let go briefly and then grabbed again, which is what you should have to do when you switch between the horizontal and vertical ones. And now that we're on this one, 
we can just go all the way around this uh, fuel tank here. Just go all the way around a th full 360 degrees of this, and it's uh, quite useful to have. I do enjoy that, just being able to crawl around an entire tank. If we let go, oh, nope, nope, okay, okay. Let go. I don't think he's going to grab the other. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually let go and fly a little bit again. Yes, it kind of defeats the purpose when I said you don't need to use the jetpack, but again, my poor, poor design. <laughs> eh, if we just go down to here to show that we can grab onto the other ones. There we go, so we can go a vertical on these from one tank to the other, and let's actually see if I can get onto this one. No, again, I poorly designed it, but we should be able to let go and grab there, perfect. Again, that's how it should transition and work if you do it right. And you can go all the way around to fix a solar panel or repack a parachute or if you have the Kerbal Inventory system installed to pull something out of a container and then attach it someplace, whatever you need it to do, it's there for you to do. And it looks beautiful while you're doing it. And yeah, that is the EVA handrails mod. Again, hopefully you guys can actually make a much better handrail system than me that's a bit more useful, but <laughs> definitely go check this out. Link will be in the description as always, and I definitely, definitely would suggest you get this. It's very useful, and even if you don't use the handrails, they just look cool as extra parts on your space stations. They, it makes it look a lot nicer. And so so yeah, that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.